Hey, people of the internet, what is up? This is Crimson Dread, and welcome back to Seven Mysterious Forums and Rumors. So, this is part two or episode two. Uh, so, in this video, we'll be continuing off where we left off, and we'll begin chapter four immediately. So, yeah, let's go. A hand hanging down from the crevice. So, Anonymous, 2017-912, oh, so, okay. This is a rumor which I've heard from one of my jokester friends, so it might not be reliable. But, another friend of mine knew this rumor too, which made me a little scared. That's why I'm now posting it here. The rumor is like this. Have you ever seen a white hand before? A white hand which stretches from the crevices. If you have, get away from there right away. That white hand gets closer and closer to you. It hangs down from the crevice of curtains, bookshelves, and doors. From any kind of crevice, it ends up reaching you. Just be very careful. The white hand attacks you even without making any sounds and drags you into the dark crevice with full might. This is quite... Yep, here it is. Yep, again. Posted by that anonymous who only shares for real no joke rumors. What if it got what if we got dragged into this crevice though? What? What's gonna happen? Yeah. Being dragged into might be better. What? What else could be the choice? Let's say this white hand comes out from the crevice of the desk. Yep. What if the hand grabbed your hand and dragged you into the crevice? Then she will be swallowed into the desk. Would she fit though? What? Your whole body would fit the crevice of the desk. Hmm, you're right. Good point. I don't know how strong does this white hand is, but... It depends on the size of the crevice, but your... But, but your body might. St <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Why do you say such scary, scary stuff, Sheena? <laughs> Oh? I just thought of the worst that could happen. Take the example of someone else at least. I assume that you're the one who has the highest possibility to have this kind of thing. Well, sh well, yeah, the only person here that has been attacked by supernatural ghost beings is Akane only. So I do. Uh... Yuki-kun is a boy, so I don't have an image of him being powerless. He is powerless. I don't know when we had this when we had the sports test at PE class. He got shut up. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Okay, okay, guys. Oh, by the way, what's the characteristics of the rumors that anonymous always posts, Yukikun? Ah, uh, well, we always find a way to solve them. Has to be it. Correct. Even though those rumors are always crazy, oh my god, this music. We can always find the causes or clues so we can solve them. The photo of the girl was one of them too. Anonymous always seems to be seeking for help. Dangerous, but someone is always in trouble. The rumors are always like that, huh? I don't know if this one applies to that though. Yeah, it does for sure. Too simple, Akane. The way the rumors are written is if they are going to harm someone on purpose, don't you think? They might not know that they actually become true, but don't you think these posts are abnormal? Even if that's so, I'm sure that the anonymous is in trouble somehow. They want us to solve the rumor. That's why they posted it. Then I really want to accept his or her request. If someone is in trouble, I want to help them. I want to help them. My god, you're soft-hearted, aww. What if something bad happened to you guys? Do you think the anonymous, the anonymous will take the responsibility to help? You don't know anything, Akane. Shino, you're so kind, me, me, me. Don't make, yep, don't make fun of me. I'm serious. There you go. I'm super happy that you care about me like that. Come on. My god, this girl. Anyways, 
We will do it with all our might if we do it. Let's solve this completely, okay? Yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, look at that. It's nice. Wait, I'll take a screenshot just for keepers. There you go. A white hand, huh? I've heard a story about the hand before. Let me see. Oh, I'm playing as a Connie again. Okay. Not this one. Not this one either. Hmm. I'm trying to remember which region this occurred in. I want to visit a spooky story about the sea. A spooky story about the mountain. If it's a white hand, shouldn't it be a mountain? Wait. I'm scared. Because one of these... One one of these choices always get me killed. Always always gets me killed. Let's go for uh, let's go for the sea. Hmm, I guess it was. Yep, this is it. This is one. Oh, okay, very good. Once upon a time, there lived a fisherman. That day, even though the wind was stronger than usual, he took a boat to sea, thinking it was fine. But the sea was gradually getting rough. When he finally started having a good catch, he heard the voice from the bottom of the dark sea, Give me a dipper. Looking at the sea, pulling in the fishing line, he found a pale hand growing out of the sea. Scared by the hand, the fisherman gave the dipper to it. But since he was, but since he was such in a hurry, the bottom of the dipper came off. And the hand took the dipper without the bottom. Using the bottomless dipper, the hand tried to pour the seawater into the boat again and again. Putting the boat ashore hurriedly, the fisherman would no longer take his boat to sea on a windy day. This is a spooky story of the boat ghost, passed down from the Edo era. The pale hand is believed to be the embodied soul of the dead who was killed by disaster at sea. From the folklore point of view, from the folklore's point of view, they say there are ghosts of the dead at the bottom of the sea who died from water disasters and cannot rest in peace. This would often be expressed as beliefs in cautionary lessons of the dead, so people can be aware of fear towards the sea. So, that means the white hand is... the soul of the dead? The sea is pretty, f pretty far from here though. I wonder if it has anything to do with the rumor this time. If it does, maybe the white hand might mean some kind of warning. What does it want? Oh my goodness, music, please. Oh, the library is closing, huh? Oh, it's... Oops. I gotta go see them now. This... That was the... Already. What? Oh, fridge! A hand. It's just like one of the illustrations from the spooky book that I just read. Akane senpai there you are. Run! Yuki, no! What? Akane-senpai? What's wrong? Can you see? Yes. Now I know. They exist, huh? This... No kidding. Akane-senpai. You're targeted by the white hand? I guess. Let's, let's take a detour and get out of here. Yep. You'll be fine if you're careful. When I run around, you get out of the library, okay? Oh, shice. Help me. What? The voice I just heard. A child? No. The hand is gone now. Hmm. I saw a white hand which looked like a child... Which looked like a child a couple times in that day. But it was just trying to reach me from a distance. And nothing special happened after all. Hmm. Sob. Wee. Wee. <laughs> Boo hoo. Is that a baby? What the hell? Wee. Akane chan. Jeez, what the? What's wrong? Nothing. Never mind. Are you sure? Yep, I'm fine. Listen, Akane-chan, you're such a good girl at putting up with painful or sad things. But you know what, Akane-chan? 
It's also very important for you to just ask some just ask somebody for help too. Instead of just being scared or pretending to be brave. We teachers or your friends are here for you, okay? You don't want anybody to worry about you, right? What we think of you. We don't want you to be worried either. We always want to help you. Sensei. So, Akane-chan, when you grow up, Nothing happened after all, but I couldn't sleep well last night. And that dream, too. Hi, good morning, Akane Senpai. That hand was okay. Oh, Yuki, good morning. What? Oh, that. I saw it a couple times, it was still in the distance, so I'll be fine for a while, I guess. But I think you are not as lively as usual. <laughs> no way. Akane-chan. Hey, Yuki. Yes? I was such a stubborn girl when I was little. My dad kept tra transferring. So of course I had to change kindergarten or nursery school too. In some years I had more fare farewell parties than celebration parties. So... Both my mom and dad kept apologizing to me. Sorry, sorry, like that. So I smiled and said, Don't worry, Mom and Dad. I'm okay. I'm okay like this. Guess what? That became a habit before I was aware. I realized that I was a child who couldn't say what she really wanted to say. Well, it's a little different from how you are now, huh? Yeah, my teacher at the kindergarten was so nice. She knew that I was holding my honest feelings, and said to me, You can say whatever you want to say. You can cry as much as you like. So I cried like a baby. <laughs> then I thought I wanted to be like her, a person who can give a hand when there is trouble. I wanted to be a person who can make the place comfortable for someone, even if they might not need it. Like the person who helped little me who was in trouble. I just wanted to be like her. That has made... You how that has made you how you are, Akane Senpai, huh? Yeah. So I'm telling you, Yuki. Actually, I'm scared. I really couldn't sleep well last night. I was okay this morning though. But what if I saw the hand beside me while sleeping? What if I couldn't wake up? Am I gonna get dragged into a crevice like that, Akane Senpai? Plus, that hand was a child's hand. A child? Small and white, and it said, help me. Even that white hand says, help me. Maybe it's begging someone for help because it's been in bad trouble. Thinking that way, I want to help. I want to help that hand too, all right? We, we do want to help it. Not only you, Akane-senpai. Yuki. Shino-senpai and I really want to help it too. If those... We really do want to help them. But you know what, Akane-senpai? It's not, it's not something only you will do. I'm so glad that you told me that you were scared. Because you are always strong, cheerful. It's like the sun shining on us. I really want to help it from the bottom of my heart. As for the rumor, this time, it may be hard for us to feel relieved. But at least, we... You're here for you, okay? Aww. Okay. You're right. The three of us are the members of the newspaper club, right? Thanks, Yuki. Yep. It was good. It was good that I told you guys about that. Let's solve the rumor together. There we go. Re reconcile. It's been two days since you saw the white hand in the library, huh? Hmm... My god, Akane-senpai. How long have you not slept recently? I'm not sure. <laughs> we gotta do something before she gets mentally sick, huh? What if I could see the hand all day long? And what if that hand was reaching me? We would definitely go crazy by now, huh? Anyways, have some sleep now, Akane-senpai. Hmm... Thanks. 
I got some rice balls earlier, so I'll eat them and take a nap. Oh, look at that. She's so cute. Just snuggling over there, grabbing her rice balls. I'm just gonna take another screenshot just for keepers. Looks like she went to sleep holding the rice ball. Yeah, exactly, huh? Is there any good way to s solve? I'm working on it, but unfortunately I don't hear from anybody who has seen the white hand except Akane. I'm asking people throughout the forum too, though. No witnesses, huh? That means only Akane Senpai is being targeted so far. You think? Or someone who was targeted might have already have been taken away by the hand. Yeah. If the hand really wants to ask Akane for help, she will definitely be driven into an unavoidable corner. I mean, she might be scared but want to help it at the same time because she might be taken away. I just worry too much. Where will the hand take Akane Senpai, you think? Where? Huh. Yes, it could be somewhere in another world, like hell, but... If the hand really needs Akane's help, maybe it might want to take her to somewhere. Possibly. Is there any way we can find out the particular place, though? How about this? Oops, sorry. Did we, did we wake you? Oh, yo, yo! What? The car is a pot! No, it's getting dragged! Get what? What are you gonna do? Jump over a carne, grab scissors on the desk, get someone. What? Uh, jump over a carne. <laughs> she might hold her like that. I'll pull her back from the other side. Wait, what is this super power? Hold on, give me something she can hold. What? me that what this lady give me that come on no way there's no way we won't give her a there's no way we won't give her away never it's way too strong a little bit more yuki kun hit her hard on her back what wake her up what i mean right now i mean sorry akane said bye wake up ouch Ouch, 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 ouch. What's going on here? What is this all about? Akane, Yuki Kun, pull her, pull her hard after I say one, two, three, okay? What? What? Why is it dark here? Akane, pull the head out of the bag. Got it. Are you ready? One, two, and three. Bam, pull. Ouch. What are you guys doing? Phew. Oh my god, you don't know what happened to Kane. You're about to get dragged into the fourth, fifth, I don't know, dimension, hell, heaven, I don't know. Ugh. Ouch. Holy Jesus. Give me that. Help me. I told you. Give me that. Anything is okay. It doesn't have to be you. So. Please. Are those eyes? What the frick? Give me that. Sh Shino Senpai? Something that children be attracted by. Something. You want anything, right? Then I'll give you this. Rice ball? I want to give her the rice ball, but... Ah, oh, frick. Stuffed animal? Rice ball, frick it. I don't care. Give me that, give me that. Here you go. Oh, it worked? What? Phew, Sh Shino, Yuki, are you guys okay? 
Yeah, I guess. I'm okay. What are you talking about? I'm super fine. Oh, by the way. Ah! You never woke up in such a huge crunch. I cannot believe you did it. <laughs> you know why? Because I was finally relieved. That's why? Come on. Shino-senpai, I think that's enough. Come on, girl! <laughs> anyway, it's all good because you're fine. Really. I'm sorry. Is that what you really wanted to say to us? What? Right. Yep. Thank you. Right? Yes. Thank you so much. Shino, Yuki. Thanks. Ah, I got hungry. Finally, feeling relieved. I'm gonna eat a rice ball now. Um... Uh... <laughs> Where's my rice ball? <laughs> Completed? Oh, there's a question mark. Title screen. That's not the final ending? Really? Oh, it isn't. Okay, let's, let's play that again. Oh, wait, is this the part where I gave her the rice ball? Oh, okay, wait, wait. Uh, back to the title screen. I did it, because... If you check here, there's like an epilogue. It's an epilogue, yeah, epilogue, epilogue, and this one doesn't have, so yeah. Proceed, okay. Let's try the stuffed animal. I'm just gonna skip through it a bit, guys. I'm just skipping through it. Uh, I need to get back to that choice thing. Come on. Okay, so it's stuffed animal this time. Stuffed animal, okay, let's try this. Here you go. <clears throat> okay, so this is still the same. Okay. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Right. Yep. Thank you, right? Yes. Thank you so much. Shino Yuki. Oh, wait. Shino Senpai. Why did you give the hand such a little bitty stuffed animal? Oops. That's mine. I left it there. That was my favorite. Oh, wait. Did you just say such a little bitty stuffed animal? <laughs> Oops. I apologize about that. Oh, sorry. That was my door. That was my door. That was the only thing that we could find around us which kids would love. The inside of the stuffed animal. Inside of the stuffed animal. What was it? Oh, here it is. Oh, okay. So this is the right ending. Okay, so I'm sorry. I would no longer see the white hand since then. At that time, Shino, all of a sudden, put my cell phone into the stuffed animal and gave it to the white hand. 
the GPS signal was coming from the forest nearby. So we started heading for the forest following the signal. Ooh! There, we found the air raid shelter. It's a cave made during the war where they ev evacuated from air raids. They were in there. They were in the crevice between the broken rocks in the shelter. The white hands were hanging down. Lots and lots of white hands were hanging down there. They were skeletonized. What? And I saw my stuffed animal beside them. <gasps> Nani? <laughs> Shino investigated for me later, but... That shelter collapsed by the air raid, air raid while some elementary students were evacuated inside. Yes, so many kids got buried alive in the backs of the collapsed space. Unable to get out, just being locked in the dark. Starving and died over time. I have no idea what those kids thought until they died. died. But we three prayed for them very deeply. So their spirits will brighten after the police carried them out from the shelter. Ah, okay, so this is the correct ending. Because I already read this, so let's reply. We are the newspaper club. We found out that the white hand came from the children who died in the war. When they were evacuated into the air raid shelter, the shelter was hit by the air raid and they were locked in and ended up dying in there. Thinking about what they experienced at that time, our hearts hurt. Maybe the white hand was simply asking us for help, we believe. We believe. That's what we thought. Chapter four. Head and hanging down from the crevice completed. Okay, so that was the real ending. So yeah, I, I guess the other one wasn't wrong, but it wasn't also right, so yeah. I moaned. Then despaired before long. This world is filled with kindness. People always reach me, giving me a hand. That's what I had believed. I had to fight against this despair all by myself. All right. So that's chapter four. Now, next chapter will be chapter five. Stray Child Hitahita-san. So... That's going to be for another episode. So yeah, uh, thank you for making it to the end of this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to try to have a better schedule because the last episode was like four days ago. Maybe I'll try to get some cons consistency. Also, yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, or you know, share it with your friends, whatever you can do. You know, just to support me and stuff because yeah that really helps me out a lot so yep so thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one goodbye people of the internet Bwah.